well in the straight. They're inside the halfway stage and nice and dandy with on the far side the white faced spader coming to challenge Washington DC on the stand side is trying to get on terms and Blood Moon has made good ground right up to join them on the far side. Now they race inside the final furlong and it's Blood Moon who picks it up from Washington DC and nice and dandy and then spader running up towards the line and Blood Moon and Gary Carroll is holding Washington DC and at the line that's the way they pass nice and dandy third and then spader and they're at home by chasing tomorrow and they're clear well in the straight they're inside the halfway stage and nice and dandy with on the far side the white faced spader coming to challenge Washington DC on the stand side is trying to get on terms and Blood Moon has made good ground right up to join them on the far side now they race inside the final furlong and it's Blood Moon who picks it up from Washington DC and nice and dandy and then spader running up towards the line and Blood Moon and Gary Carroll is holding Washington DC and at the line that's the way they pass nice and dandy third and then spader and their full at home by chasing tomorrow and they're clear. But Dylan Express, the leader from Missile Command, bought for his song. On the near side is Suburban Sky, and they're followed by Acrolina with Cappadocia next. And down the outside, Katie's Joy. But Dylan Express has kicked on now three lengths clear from Suburban Sky. Acrolina, the top weight, is running on towards the outside and bought for a song next. It's Dylan Express mowed down on the near side by Acrolina, who's closing with every stride as they go to the line. But Dylan Express has just held Acrolina, bought for a song, and Suburban Sky. But Dylan Express, the leader from Missile Command, bought for his song. On the near side is Suburban Sky, and they're followed by Acrolina with Cappadocia next, and down the outside, Katie's Joy. But Dylan Express has kicked on now three lengths clear from Suburban Sky. Acrolina, the top weight, is running on towards the outside and bought for a song next. It's Dylan Express mowed down on the near side by Acrolina, who's closing with every stride as they go to the line. But Dylan Express has just held Acrolina, bought for a song, and Suburban Sky. And Connor Hoban out in front, followed by No Fear. And Pat Smullen, who are giving chase in second. And then is he Bay or Gray, picking up ground in the center of the track for Colin Keane. As Madame Noble is joined now, one from the rail by No Fear. Is he Bay or Gray makes ground towards the outside. And then Octavian, artistic touch, beginning the run now towards the final 150 yards. And is he Bay or Gray on the near side edges to the front past No Fear and a running on Octavia. Is he Bay or Gray? He will hold on to beat Octavia. No Fear third. Madame Adam Noble four and an artistic touch Lady Mandeville and always last Bobby's girl. And Connor Hoban out in front, followed by No Fear. And Pat Smullen, who are giving chase in second. And then is he Bay or Gray, picking up ground in the center of the track for Colin Keane. As Madame Noble is joined now, one from the rail by No Fear. Is he Bay or Gray makes ground towards the outside. And then Octavian, artistic touch, beginning the run now towards the final 150 yards. And is he Bay or Gray on the near side edges to the front past No Fear and a running on Octavia. Is he Bay or Gray? He will hold on to beat Octavia. No Fear third. Madam Noble four, and an artistic touch, Lady Mandeville, and always last, Bobby's girl. Inside the three mark now, and on straightening up, the leader is La Bella Rose from Ask Katie. Vocal warm up trying to get on terms over on the far side, and they're followed by Beach Mount Whisper. Right on the extreme stand side is Baby Dennis. They're stretched across the track as they race now with a furling and a half to go. And Baby Dennis has come right through the field down the middle of the track to go to the front from Beach Mount Whisper. Vocal warm up on the far side, and then La Bella Rose. But it's Baby Dennis and Ross Coakley in the lead and holding vocal warm up. Third is Beach Mount Whisper, then La Bella Rose, Echoes of My Mind, follows them in.
Inside the three mark now, and on straightening up, the leader is La Bella Rose from Ask Katie. Vocal warm up trying to get on terms over on the far side, and they're followed by Beach Mount Whisper. Right on the extreme stand side is Baby Dennis. They're stretched across the track as they race now with a furling and a half to go. And Baby Dennis has come right through the field down the middle of the track to go to the front from Beach Mount Whisper. Vocal warm up on the far side, and then La Bella Rose. But it's Baby Dennis and Ross Coakley in the lead and holding vocal warm up. Third is Beach Mount Whisper, then La Bella Rose, Echoes of My Mind, follows them in. It's Rail Teller from in the center of the track. Factor Folklore being called on for a challenge. Right over on the far side, Azames is getting into it. And Ciel Etoile right down the outside, followed by Asmus Byron. Racing now towards the final furlong with their space across the track. Factor Folklore on the near side and Billy Lee, Rail Teller and Colin Keane in between horses and Azames. Robson Aguar on the inside, a three-way battle as they go towards the line. A winning favorite here. And cozily enough of the death as Factor Folklore makes a third time lock as a mess, rail tellers, Miss Byron and Ciel Etoile. It's Rail Teller from in the center of the track. Factor Folklore being called on for a challenge. Right over on the far side, Azames is getting into it. And Ciel Etoile right down the outside, followed by Asmus Byron. Racing now towards the final furlong with their space across the track. Factor Folklore on the near side and Billy Lee, Rail Teller and Colin Keane in between horses. And Azames, Robson Aguar on the inside. A three-way battle as they go towards the line. A winning favorite here. And cozily enough of the death as Factor Folklore makes a third time. I'm lucky as a mess, rail tellers, Miss Byron and Ciel Etoile. Racing inside the three. And it's House Limit in the nose band with flowing air. Ballad Dancer right over on the far side. Then Bomber Jackson stands side Elegy. War Room. Zarly Man makes good ground up between horses. Then comes our Max. And as they race now towards the final furlong, plenty in with chances here. On the far side, Ballad Dancer taken on by Zarly Man. Right down the outside, Bomber Jackson. And War Room bursting through between horses. is finishing best of all. And War Room gets up to beat House Limit. 1-2 for the owner. And then Bomber Jackson, Zarly man and ballad dancer next racing inside the three and it's House Limit in the nose band with flowing air. Ballad Dancer right over on the far side. Then Bomber Jackson stands side Elegy. War Room. Zarly Man makes good ground up between horses. Then comes our Max. And as they race now towards the final furlong, plenty in with chances here. On the far side, Ballad Dancer taken on by Zarly Man. Right down the outside, Bomber Jackson. War Room bursting through between horses. is finishing best of all. And War Room gets up to beat House Limit. 1-2 for the owner. And then Bomber Jackson. Zarly man and ballad dancer next And race on now with a little over two and a half to go. And Blue Skimmer is the leader from on the outside, making rapid ground from last place, Infinite Loop. Between horses is Cradle Mountain, then Navigante. Down the outside, Hurricane Cass, and then Valet de Sol. Racing now just outside the final furlong. And Blue Skimmer is still the leader from Hurricane Cass, who's making ground now in the center of the track. And then comes Valet de Sol. Blue Skimmer now pressed by Hurricane Cass on the near side, who's getting up under Wayne Lord. And Hurricane Cass beats Blue Skimmer. And and then Valley de Sol, Infinite Loop, Navigante next. And race on now with a little over two and a half to go. And Blue Skimmer is the leader from on the outside, making rapid ground from last place, Infinite Loop. Between horses is Cradle Mountain, then Navigante. Down the outside, Hurricane Cass, and then Valley de Sol. Racing now just outside the final furlong. And Blue Skimmer is still the leader from Hurricane Cass, who's making ground now in the center of the track. And then comes Valley de Sol. Blue Skimmer now pressed by Hurricane Cass on the near side, who's getting up under Wayne Lord. And Hurricane Cass beats Blue Skimmer. And then Valley de Sol, Infinite Loop, Navigante next.
and then in the blue and yellow colors, Tennessee Waltz in the center of the track. These three are followed by Dibanda, who's trying to make ground right on the outside, as Mosetta and Tennessee Waltz on the near side now, jewel to the final furlong. They've shaken off the attentions of Saga Diamond. Ask more is warming to the task than Bamako de Chatelet and Dibando, but it's Mosetta in front, under in form. Pat Smullen from Tennessee Waltz, and on the inside is Ashmore. Mosetta is going to make a winning breakthrough, and another for Pat Smullen. Ashmore on the inside of Tennessee Waltz, then Bamako de Chatelet, and the front four clear of the remainder. And then in the blue and yellow colors, Tennessee Waltz in the center of the track. These three are followed by Dibanda, who's trying to make ground right on the outside, as Mosetta and Tennessee Waltz on the near side now, jewel to the final furlong. They've shaken off the attentions of Saga Diamond. Ask more is warming to the task than Bamako de Chatelet and Dibanda, but it's Mosetta in front, under in form. Pat Smullen from Tennessee Waltz, and on the inside is Ashmore. Mosetta is going to make a winning breakthrough, and another for Pat Smullen. Ask more on the inside of Tennessee Waltz, then Bamako de Chatelet, and the front four clear of the remainder.